You can ask every judo fan, who is the strongest judoka in the category up to 66 kilograms, and almost all of you will probably answer that it's Hifumi Abe, and that's an indisputable fact. Hifumi is an Olympic champion, for times world champion and 10 times winner of Grand Slam tournaments. This man has unreal physical and mental data for judo. Abi Hifumi is a real dominator in the category up to 66 kilograms, and it is almost impossible to defeat him at official tournaments. We began our review of Abi's career in 2014. Back then, Abi as an underage teenager went to one of the most prestigious tournaments to this day, the Tokyo Grand Slam. This was the era of Masashi Abinima at this weight, who at that time was the world champion and was confidently preparing for the second Olympics for himself in his career. No one would have thought that the youngster Abe would be able to compete with the giant of this weight. But Abi Afumi was not only able to defeat the world champion Abinima, he was able to get on the first step of the podium with a gold medal. This is the first gold medal from big international tournaments and a great start of career for Hifumi. 2016 Japan Championships in Fukuoka 18-year-old Hifumi makes it to the finals from the Japanese Championships. And of course, in the bout for gold, he will have to fight Joshiro Maruyama, the origin of the iconic confrontation between the two strongest judokas of our time in this weight category. The young Abi chose the tactic of attack after attack to defeat Maruyama, who looked a little confused by his opponent's struggles. Perhaps Joshiro wasn't ready for that kind of fight from Abi, but as a result, Joshiro gets three Shido. But Abe became the Japanese champion. This is already a serious bit for the coaching staff. February 2017, Abi gets a chance to fight at one of the most prestigious international tournaments, it's the Paris Grand Slam. Before that, Abi has already added a couple or three gold medals from International Judo Federation tournaments to his piggy bank. As you can see, Hifumi shows more than solid wrestling, and then and now, no one can resist this crowning takedown from Abi. Two arm grabs, and a back foot throw, either through the back. On his way to Paris, Abi was able to defeat the strong Korean Kim and also Voza Margvelashvili in the quarterfinals of the tournament. A very confident fight from Abi, and a lot of powerful shots. And in the final Abi defeated Anzor Ardnov and won another gold medal from international tournaments in his career. With a strong performance and a series of wins at Grand Slam tournaments, Abi earned a chance to go to the World Championships in Budapest. At the age of 20, Abi Afumi is on her way to the World Championships, and what we would like to say in advance is that the coaching staff certainly didn't miss with their choice. Afumi shows stunning in the true sense of judo, throwing every opponent in her path, regardless of their experience and regalia. So already in the quarterfinals Abi confidently defeated the legend of Ukrainian judo and world champion Georgi Zentaraya. And in the semi-finals, he defeated his old acquaintance Vaza Margvelashvili. But in the final, Abi threw on upon Mikhail Puliev. Our hero didn't really care how many medals from the world championships his rivals had. Abi Afumi became world champion for the first time in his career in 2017 at the age of 20. We would also like to mention Abi Afumi's performance at the Grand Prix Zagreb in 2018. Then Abi being the world champion and a clear favorite went to the Grand Prix in anticipation of defending the title. And already in the quarterfinals as a cold shower, Abi lost to Upon, the representative of Mongolia. As a result, Hifumi went to consolation and then won the bronze, defeating an experienced judoka and Slovenia. That's the kind of warm-up Abe had before the world championships in Baku. Well, and here is of course the 2018 World Championships in Baku. As the saying goes, it's harder to defend a title than to win it. And it's true, Abi Afumi is going to the World Championships together with her sister Abi Uta, who you also know well from the videos on my channel. Uta won her first World Championship at the age of 18. Abi Afumi very confidently reaches the quarterfinal stage of the tournament, where she again defeats the world champion Georgi Zantaraya. And now in the semi-finals he has to defeat the world champion and vice Olympic champion from Korea, and Ball. He also defeats him and enters the finals against the representative of Kazakhstan Yerlin Sariksanov. In the end, after just over a minute of the meeting, 
Abi throws his opponent on it pun, defends the title, and becomes a two-time world champion. A great result for the Abi family. Grand Slam in Osaka. It's still 2018. Abi's Olympic dream lives on, and he heads to the Grand Slam in Osaka as a two-time world champion. In the classics, Abi executes a couple of cool throws and puns, and makes it to the final. Waiting for him in the final was his familiar opponent, Joshiro Maruyama. I'm sure Joshiro wanted to get even with Abi for his past embarrassing defeats. And as you can see, Abi is indeed losing to Maruyama. A great signature combination by Joshiro, and he gets the first. And here's world champion Abi leaving Osaka with silver. 2019 is the most underwhelming year of wrestling for Abi Afumi to say the least. And we start with the Grand Slam Paris 2019. That's when the two-time world champion faced future two-time vice world champion into different weight classes Manuel Lombardo in their first meeting. The young Italian managed to throw Abi twice and beat the Japanese. Hifumi leaves the tournament having lost in his first bout. That's the kind of shakeup it turned out to be for the Japanese. The 2019 Japan Judo Championships by weight categories in Fukuoka. The Olympic race is in full swing, and many of the weights have already been determined, but the under 66 kilograms weight is the most intriguing. The Olympic race is between Abi Hifumi and Joshiro Maruyama, and as usual they split the All Japan Championship final between them. As I said earlier, the 19th year is not the most successful in his career, and Abi leaves this Japanese championship without gold. A disappointing defeat in the final a year before the Olympics. World Championships in Tokyo, all in the same year, 2019. Another title defense for Abi Hifumi in her career. Maruyama is also in place and confidently preparing for this World Championships, as his Olympic dream is also in place. Abi Hifumi is pleasing the audience with good upon wins over his opponents. But we should give credit to Maruyama, in the neighboring tournament grid, Maruyama also shows a great fight, and literally tears his opponents apart. Semi-final bout, fate and world ranking made it possible for Abi and Maruyama to meet already at the semi-final stage. The stakes were high, and it seemed to many at the time that the winner of this bout would surely go to the Olympics. Perhaps the coaching staff had intended it that way, but nevertheless, the bout went to the golden score, where Maruyama defeated Abi Afumi by the same technique he used to beat him at the Old Japan Championships. Maruyama is in the finals, a frustrated Abi goes to fight for bronze against Manuel Lombardo. In the end, Maruyama becomes world champion, and Abi Afumi drops to upon Lombardo, even though the bout was very tough. Bronze for Abi, but he leaves the arena in tears. The title is lost. Then a couple months after the World Championships, Abi Hifum defeats World Champion Joshiro Maruyama in the Osaka Grand Slam Finals, and now there are more questions about who will go to the Olympics. And to decide that, the Japanese have organized a one-match tournament, Abi vs Maruyama. Only one will win and go to the Tokyo Olympics. Perhaps this bout is even more important than the Olympic final. Whoever wins this bout will become the Olympic champion, and there is no other way. The outcome of this bout is on your screens. As you can see, and as many already know, Abi Ofumi defeats Joshiro Maruyama in the most important bout in the careers of possibly both judokas, and earns a trip to the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Big drama for Maruyama, and of course a real triumph for Ofumi Abi. The year is 2022. It's been a long time since the Olympic Games. Abi Afumi is a real judo superstar and one of the most popular judokas in the world and in Japan. Afumi is traveling to the World Championships in Tashkent in pursuit of her third World Championship gold medal. Throughout the day, Abe looks very confident and in his own style defeats every opponent. Great and spectacular throws by the Olympic champion. Well, and here it is the final of the weight category up to 66 kilograms. Expectedly, Abi Afumi and Joshiro Maruyama meet. Abi looks maximally energized and it is obvious that he won already at the stage of entering the tatami. Maruyama ends up flying at Abi without a takedown, and Afumi takes advantage of THB earns a wazari, 
was already enough for him to become a three-time world champion and win another final against Mariyama. Abe revels while Mariyama's Olympic dream fades with each defeat. The 2023 World Championships in Doha. This time I think many people were sure of a Japanese final, Abi vs Mariyama. Abi to show great wrestling, and again the Japanese used his crowning grabs for two umbers. And in the semi-finals, Hafumi managed to defeat her opponent from France in less than a minute, and will head to the final with confidence. On the other side of the tournament grid, Maruyama also showed excellent judo, and very confidently went to Abi Hafumi in the final. Here it is the final. Again a final between the two tops of this weight class. Maruyama and Abi have no equal in this weight class. To be honest, Maruyama looked really good in this fight, but the judges still gave him the third Shido for passive, thus the victory was won by Afumi Abi and became a four-time world champion. His sister Uta Abi also won another championship on the same day. Once again, the Abi family are feasting on the top of the world. Abi Afumi is one of the most dominant judoka of our time, a near-perfect judoka in all characteristics. Write in the comments, can he become an Olympic champion in Paris in 2024? I am 87% sure that he can do it.